Hey you guys, my name is Dr. Cade with Life Strength Health Center and this is Dr. Dwayne. Hi. And uh, crazy times right now, crazy times. So uh, the two of us wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about a few things related to stress and the immune system. So where do you want to start, Doc? Uh, you know, I think one thing we want to talk about is how can chiropractors help during this time right now. And I, I think what we'd like to talk today a little bit about is, you know, what do chiropractors do? How does it compare to other medical models? And uh, not only just with this virus, uh, future viruses, the future, uh, just anything to do with health and the immune system. So we'd like to just bring that to your attention and, and let you guys know what we plan to do throughout this whole time. So I think the first thing that's important to say is neither one of us are infectious disease experts. But what we are experts at is helping people get well and stay well. We're experts at the physiology and the biochemistry of the body and helping it work at its best so that it can manage whatever it is in front of us, right? Whether it's a mental stress, whether it's a chemical stress, whether it's a physical stress. So um, chiropractic, I think a lot of people think is all about bones or a lot of people yep. think it's all about pain or headaches or yep. symptoms, but what it's really about is neurology. And again, our neurology is how we experience this world. All the joys, all the tragedies of this world, we experience through our nerve system. And then when that nerve system is functioning at its best, we experience life at such a greater level, and when we're not, that's when pain, sickness, disease, all those other types of symptoms come into play. Yep. And uh, when we add, we are a health center, right? So we're not just a chiropractic office, we also add uh, functional medicine into the mix. The philosophy of functional medicine is really about getting down to the root cause of why mm -hmm. we're sick or why we're having those symptoms, not yep. necessarily just trying to cover it up, yep. whether it's with a medication or whether it's with even a natural substance. So again, that's what we do here. We're not infectious disease experts. Yep. So we're going to look at this and have this conversation through a different lens. Yep. Yeah. So as far as now, uh, I know a lot of patients that follow us and that are online right now, they kind of understand that model. They understand yep. what a chiropractic clinic does. Can you kind of describe how our clinic is different from maybe say going to like a medical clinic? Like what would uh, patients look at as far as, you know, how would a doctor talk with them or treat, treat this, this type of disease or any virus in the future or any type of sickness? So I think a lot of the talk so far has been how to avoid, right? How are we gonna modify the environment to suit us, right? We're trying to avoid, we're trying to wash our hands, we're trying to, right, stay away from other people. And again, yep. that's all about modifying the environment. There really isn't a whole ton of talk about how to make sure that our body is resilient no, enough to handle all. the environment. No. Right. I think I've gotten 16 emails from different vendors that I've been a part of. Even Gap, I think, sent me one the other day and it's like, why is Gap trying to tell me about health? But most of it was wash your hands, like you said, and more things that can be controlled outside as opposed to, well, what can I do physically? That's where the real conversation has to happen. We can't avoid sickness and disease. There's germs everywhere. Yep. And again, you know, even inside of us, we are more bugs and bacteria yep. than we are actually cells of the human body. So it's important to note that we can't just um, disinfect our way out of this, right? So it's, um, again, the conversations that we're going to have with you today is how can we help our body become resilient, become strong enough to adapt to this stress and overcome it. Yeah. So back to the question, like you said, so if they were to go into the medical community right now, you know, what, what are they telling them and, and kind of how is it going to be different than when they come into our door here? So again, I'm just going to keep it super simple and say that if there's a difference between managing symptoms and taking care of the symptoms versus building the health of the host, which is us. And so we do that through a, a ton of different techniques. Again, as a health center, our toolbox, our wellness toolbox is very expansive. So we have chiropractic and of course we're going to talk about food, we're going to talk about toxicity, we're going to talk about sleep, we're going to talk about stress yep. and, um, and, and just go from there. So when we have those conversations with our patients, I think sometimes it can become overwhelming, but the point really isn't to be perfect on all of those things. The point is to do what can you prioritize? What are things that you can fit into your daily schedule? What are things that are realistic for you with where you're at now, whether that's budget or whether it's time or kids yep. or whatever, yep. but the more of these things you can do, you tip the scales in your favor. You're increasing, again, your body's ability to adapt during this time of stress. Now, does this guarantee anyone from not getting 100%? I mean, 100%, 100% guarantee. <laughs> no. If you do these things, you will not get sick. No, that's terrible. No, to say. that's facetious. Yeah, that's, that's very. But yeah. So, you know, I think that's an important thing to say. The asterisk in the beginning is that we're not infectious disease experts. And again, the other asterisk here is that none of this stuff is meant to be a cure or a treatment. Again, it's all about helping you, helping your body fight this off. At the end of the day, no doctor mm -hmm. is doing the healing. When you break a bone, it's the doctor that's setting it, but now we're waiting and allowing your body to do the healing itself. And that's the case in any disease, whether it's bacterial, whether it's viral, whether it's a, a, a biochemistry kind of thing, yeah. short kind, it's your body doing the healing and it's important 
to know that because that's empowering to you who's listening to this. You can do things to help your body and you can do things to hurt your body, of course, as well. Yeah. Is there a way that we can measure in the clinic that the patients might not know about or maybe they have had before where we can actually kind of measure how will your body respond to outward environmental things like a virus or like bacteria? What an awesome question. So he just asked, what are ways <laughs> that we can measure how uh, um, healthy the body is to adapt. And, and one of our favorite tests here, it's not invasive, it's so simple, it's so quick, it's, it's amazing. It's called heart rate variability. And there's loads of research out there linking heart rate variability to, the, um, again, the, the health of the immune system, longevity, cancer, the list goes on and on. Heart rate variability. So we have a machine here that, um, again, is called a heart rate variability machine, and it tests your two nerve systems. You have two nerve systems, right? Mm -hmm. We've got the sympathetic nerve system, which is also our fight or flight nerve system, and we also have our parasympathetic, which is responsible, responsible for our resting, digesting, our healing, um, and our sexual functions. Those two things can't be on at the same time. When one is on, the other is off. And we want that to be kind of a teeter-totter through the day mm -hmm. as we're experiencing and going through um, different situations and scenarios. Mm -hmm. Now, when we go through that test, we can actually see, again, how much left in the tank, if you will, does somebody have to adapt to, again, whether it's a mental, a chemical, or a physical stress. And when we get that test result back, we can put in different therapies, we can put in different recommendations. And then we can go back and test and we can see how well those things are working. Are we trending in the right direction? Are we not? Is there something else coming up? You know, we can always talk about somebody having pain or somebody having a sickness, but if in the back of their head they're not there or the night before they're not sleeping well, well, we have to address that first before we can overcome it. Does, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So again, it's a non-invasive test. There's no radiation, there's no blood draw, there's nothing silly, yeah. um, but it's a way that we can very accurately uh, measure how somebody's responding to the things we're doing. Yeah. And I, I think with uh, patients, you know, they always come in and they kind of have an idea of, you know, what, what's happening already because we're, we're fairly educated now since we have Google, we got all these things out there where patients come in and they already think they have three things before they get here. So I think us, not only are we wellness experts, but we have to be an expert at kind of going through looking at research and deciding, uh, you know, what, what diagnosis do I have to get this patient or what, what's the most likely hood of treatment here? So for things like uh, the viruses and the wellness, have they done research out there that, that you've seen lately that, that shows how chiropractic can help with this type of a, a wellness type thing against viruses and any kind of environment? It's, it's, it's hard because it's a, it's a bit of a double-edged sword. You know, in the age of information, I think it's more important than ever to have the right information. And there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a yep. lot of fear. There's a lot of scare tactics. And um, you know, thank God we have access to all those things, the yep. information and, of course, the medical treatments that are out there. Um, but it's important to make sure that we're, we're slowing things down. We're looking at it from all angles. It's so easy to get into an emotional, stressful state. very overwhelmed, yes. We have, and, 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 yeah. and we do. And when that happens, just like yep. we were talking about that heart rate variability and the difference between our two immune systems, that keeps us in a sympathetic dominant, a fight or flight state. That means yep. our immune system's shut down. Yep. That means our body can't heal. We have a harder time falling asleep. We have a harder mm -hmm. time staying asleep. And uh, so we've got to be careful with all the information. I love having educated patients. Those yep. are the patients that we want yep. because those are the patients that um, are also help us grow and become better doctors. Yep. Uh, but we've got to be careful getting the right information. Yep, yep, exactly. So yeah, and, and that's what I kind of tell patients is, you know, don't always go to uh, say, if you hear hooves, don't think zebras, think horses. They don't think the most crazy diagnosis when you have things. So that's why you come to doctors like us and we, uh, we decipher it and we you know calmly diagnose things and and we make decisions based on facts and and figures and research as opposed to just what feels right and now in a, in a state of fear people are usually going to jump to conclusions and go buy a ton of toilet paper and hand sanitizer when really we should be stocking up on vitamins and, and making our body more resistant to yeah. getting a disease which i went to sprouts in naples and they are still stocked with a lot of vitamins now they're finally starting to go down but You're letting out your secret yeah, here well. all, all my healthy <laughs> foods are there which i'm like oh great my gluten-free stuff is here my grass-fed beef is still here but everything Everything else is cleared out, which is is really not going to help the body uh, temporarily. It makes them feel better, but yeah, it's it's pretty wild how uh, a lot of us are responding to this. But I just want to make sure that we're looking back at history. And again, I'm not an infectious disease expert, but when we look at the hype um, that happened with Zika and the things that happened with Ebola and West Nile and bird flu and swine flu, there's yep. just been a long history of every couple of years we have a pretty big hysteria, but this one is definitely a little bit different, yeah. um, and I'm waiting and excited to see what more uh, research and what more studies um, have to say, but the most important thing we can do is take care of our own immune system. That's the most important thing we can do. So yeah. I think we should talk a little bit about chiropractic and how chiropractic is very uniquely um, set up to actually help boost up the immune system. So. Yeah. 
There was a study in 2010 that was done um, taking a blood draw with patients and testing for uh, a, a substance in the blood called interleukin-2. And what interleukin-2 does is it's actually a white blood cell signaler, and it tells the white blood cells where to go, when to go, and in how many, um, again, how big of an attack or coordinated response to have. And what they found before and after, they found that uh, the blood levels of interleukin-2 were 200% higher in patients after getting adjusted. And so when we talk to patients that chiropractic is so much more than pain and so much more than symptoms, mm -hmm. it's really about helping the, um, the body's natural immune system, the body's natural nerve system, adapt to those stresses better. And we have proof and study uh, of that study back in 2010. Yep, yep. And then if you combine the supplements on top of it, staying active and healthy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, right now, I mean, if, uh, you know, we're in a, a quarantine and staying away from each other, it's kind of hard and difficult to do that. But that's how where we bring out our creativity and whether or not it's working out at home and staying there or, or getting out around the house, whatever it might be, I think we just need to be creative with it and stay active and don't, when you, just because you're quarantined or if you're at home and you're self-quarantining, we got to, we got to stay active and, and keep our bodies moving and keep, uh, you know, keep that going. Yeah, I think that's important. So stay hydrated, eat healthy food, get plenty of rest, watch the fear. Um, of course, we're going to stay open to this. The number one priority for us is to serve you. So whether it's a phone call, whether it's an email, whether it's a stop at the office, we are here to help. And uh, we've got lots of tools to do that yep. between myself, Dr. Dwayne, Dr. Carolyn. Um, it's an honor to take care of you guys. So if you're feeling ill, if you are feeling fearful, um, we're here to help. You can reach out in any way. Um, so we're planning on doing a couple more of these videos as we learn more. Uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper into a couple of those different subjects with some of the best supplements, some of the best sleep tips, and again, talking about that heart rate variability. But again, we're here if you yep. need us. Anything else we need to say? I, I think just in general, you know, I mean, obviously we respect the CDC and we're not trying to discredit anything. We want to say, hey, if you do feel like you do have COVID-19, that you do stay home and you don't bring it here. I mean, let, let that disease run its course. Don't go out and infect anybody. That's 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 the point of self-quarantining is not going out and spreading it. But if you feel like you're a healthy individual or maybe you have something else, a minor cold or something, I mean, that that's a time when it's a good time to come in here, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Boosting up your system through, again, the, 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 the whole slew of options that we have here through our wellness toolbox at Life Strength Health Center. Absolutely. Yep. If you are feeling sick, let us know. They'll call ahead of time so yep. that we can make arrangements here, um, you know, to, to, to follow the rules on cleaning our office and keeping things healthy for the rest of the folks. But, yep, mm -hmm. we're open and we recommend that you get your adjustment even when you're sick. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thanks, well, Doc. Yep. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, everybody. Good luck yep, through good all luck. this. We'll be here. Yep. Take care. Awesome. Cool? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't recording.